Hey everyone, welcome to Mix It Up Art. Today we are going to be making this slice of citrus. So I'm going to be making a grapefruit today, but you guys can make a lemon, a lime, a grapefruit, an orange, whatever you wanna make. And to get started, we're gonna get a sheet of white construction paper, and I want you to hold it landscape style so that it's wider side to side, and then it is up and down. You're gonna choose two or three colors for the rind. So I'm gonna do this like reddish orange, I'll do a regular orange and then a yellow. So I'm gonna start with my reddish orange here. And you just wanna start with a color that you can see. And what you're gonna do is just sketch out a big rainbow line going from one corner, bottom corner, to the other bottom corner. So I'm, I'm sketching very, very light. And I want this line to be nice and thick. So really any mistakes that I make, I'm just going to turn into the rind. Once you have your rainbow line sketched out, you're gonna get your second color. And if this is, if you're only using one more color, this part you're going to press very firm and you're gonna to try to fill in all that white space. But I'm using three colors. So this one, I'm just gonna kind of um, draw over top of that rainbow line, pressing a little bit firmer. And then on that last oil pastel is when I'll really press down and try to fill in all the white space on this rind. Once you've filled in all the white space in that rind, you are going to get your white oil pastel. And underneath of that line, you're gonna press firm and make a thin white line that completely fills up that paper space in there. So I know this is gonna to be tough for you to see in the video, so I will get a red sheet of paper and show you what this should look like as soon as I'm done filling this in. All right, so you should have a thick line with whatever color rind you want and then a thin line with the white. Now what you're gonna do is get a ruler and the paper measures about 12 inches across. So what I want you to do is line up your ruler at the bottom of the paper and you're gonna measure where that six inch mark is and you'll put a little dot. And you can use your white oil pastel on the white paper, but if it's tough to see, you can choose a color that you used for your rind. Then what we're gonna do is split this up into basically a pizza. So I wanna put my ruler down so that I can see the white dot and it's right next to the ruler line and then angle it a little bit to the left. And what I'm gonna do is just draw a line that goes from that white rind to that white dot. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of continue to go all around. So I'll turn it a little bit this way, making sure to line up to that white dot, draw my line, go again, and I'm gonna go all around the grapefruit like this. Once you have your lines done, you wanna go back and just make sure that they're nice and thick because you wanna be able to see them and especially since you'll be doing this on white paper, um, you might wanna go back and just make sure you can really see those lines because you will need to see them for this step when we start painting. All right, so now that we have this kind of shape that looks a little bit like a wagon wheel, we're gonna make it look more like a piece of fruit. And how we're gonna do this is just drawing a curved line at the corner at the top here, and then just coloring it in. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, like that. All right, so once your paper looks like this, you are ready to start painting. So I went ahead and put all my white lines on this sheet of paper, and I also got my liquid watercolors. So I have yellow, orange, and magenta that I'll be using for this. And you're gonna need a paintbrush and some water. And what you're going to do is try to paint inside of the lines here with the color. So I'm gonna start with this magenta color. And what I'm gonna do is paint lines that go from the edge here to that center point. And I'm just going to quickly paint just straight lines going from the outside in. And I'm trying to avoid those white lines that I drew. And then I can get my orange and add in lines the same way. And finally, I'll get some yellow and add some lines in with this. Now for me, this isn't quite pink enough, so I'm gonna go back to my magenta and just add in a little bit more with that. And I'm gonna try to fill up a little bit of this space underneath that white line. 
All right, once you're happy with your colors, you're gonna put your paint away and get your scissors. Now you are going to be cutting out your citrus slice. So I'm gonna try to go on the outside here and make sure that I still have a nice thick rind, but that I don't have any paper space on the edge here. So I'm just gonna cut it out. Now once you've cut out your citrus slice and you've made sure that there's no more white paper showing on the edge of it, you're gonna pick out a colored piece of construction paper and this can be any color that you want. I'm choosing yellow for this project and what you're gonna do is flip over your citrus slice, get some glue, and make sure you're using just little dots of glue around the edges here. You don't really need to glue in the middle. And once you have your dots of glue, you are going to flip it over. What I want you to do is try to line it up against one side. And you just wanna make sure that you press down to make sure that it stays in place. And that's it, this is our slice of citrus. If you guys make these at home, please tweet me a picture of them. I wanna see them if I don't get to see them in person. And as always, have fun.